All right, welcome back, second and third grade. So today, we are going to be talking about the concept of symmetry. So symmetry, simply put, is when something can be split down the middle and it's the exactly the same on both sides. So for example, if I take this little bottle, I put it on my line here, and I take it away, well, on both sides, the shape is going to be exactly the same when it's split in the middle, right in half. And so, many things naturally have symmetry, and lots of art uses symmetry as a, uh, a way to focus your eye on, on the attention of a certain thing. And so, we're gonna be using nature to, uh, or for our example, I should say, for symmetry. And the whole idea is that we're gonna be drawing insects. Insects are a perfect uh, example of symmetry in nature. So on your assignment, you have many different options that you can use here. You've got butterflies, bees, ants, beetles, and so you can pick any of those to do this uh, project with. So here is the idea. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take a ruler or some other straight edge and you're gonna draw a straight line in the center of your page, like so, okay? That is what we call our line of symmetry. That's the center line that's gonna go in between what we are drawing. And this line will help you figure out how to make your insect perfectly symmetrical. So I personally chose a beetle. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick sketch of one side, one half of the beetle first, and then I'm gonna do the other to match. And so that's what this is all about. This is a drawing exercise to see how close you can get to matching one side with the other, okay? So, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing. I will speed up the drawing as I do. So I'll stop right here. I've got the main body all laid out. This is a stag beetle that I've chosen. Uh, so I've done the head, this big ginormous claw here. Add a little detail here. And then the part of the wing that opens. Okay. And then his his thorax, the his butt end essentially of the bug. Okay, so I'll just add a couple more details in the wings and we'll go back to a speedy drawing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to match the other side. up there again. So I think I've done a okay job of making it symmetrical on both sides. It's not going to be perfect. There are going to be little things that are off. Uh, you notice me using my pencil to measure. So what you can do is you can line up your pencil with the middle line and whatever the thing is that you want to see how long it is. So if I want to see to the tip here how long that is, I can put my eraser at the tip there, put my thumb on the middle line and then move it over. And I see, okay, well, that's about correct for this side as well, okay? Uh, I'm sure there'll be little changes I need to make. It looks like this is a little bit off here, but I can always clean that up later. All right, so now we're gonna go to some of the more difficult parts. I'm gonna do the wings and the legs. Now the legs are really thin, so that makes them 
a little bit more difficult to get right in the perfect spot. But I'm gonna do my best and we'll see how it turns up. I'm gonna speed up the video yet again right now. So I'm done with the wings now, and the final thing that I will do, I should say, I'm sorry, I'm not done with the wings, I'm done with the legs now. Final thing is my wings. Now the cool thing about a lot of bug wings, they're transparent. So they're gonna kind of lay over top of things here. All right, and that's it. That's the basic symmetrical drawing of the beetle. In the next uh, video, I will color it in and uh, add some interest to it to make it more than just a simple line drawing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that.